Company executives are often very confident about their products and will sometimes say that a product is so good it sells itself. While the product in question may be good, as a rule, all products need a sales force to sell them. And the main function of an organization's sales department is to attract and retain customers. And don't confuse here the organizational setting with a function. It might be somebody or some department without the formal title of sales doing the sales. But for our purpose, we're going to use the sales department as a reference. This is the main entity that needs to make sure that the organization meets customer demand. To do this, the department hires salespeople or outside agencies to carry out the necessary sales activities. Salespeople must also analyze market demands. To realize this, they need to understand the psychology of the target customer, anticipate and react accordingly to market fluctuations, and explore the possibility of new markets. In addition to making the all-important sale, each salesperson should be aware of the need for business development, creating new business opportunities for the organization. Pursuing new business opportunities helps salespeople develop new business relationships. These relationships can help generate increased sales as well as position the salesperson and the organization for future success. So, based on what you have learned so far and your personal knowledge, what do you think are the main functions of an organization's sales department? To attract customers, to retain customers, to deal with customer complaints, or to process customer orders. Now it is a good moment to pause the video for a second and try to reflect on the correct answer. We are going to discuss them together, of course. Option 1 is correct. Attracting customers is one of the core tenets for a sales department. This is an important revenue creation function. Option 2 is also correct. Retaining customers is an essential function for those working in sales departments. Retaining customers ensuring that the revenue stream is creating and sustained. Option 3 is incorrect. Dealing with customer complaints is a function of the customer service department. Employees in the sales department should be allowed to concentrate on sales and business development. Option 4 is incorrect. Processing customer orders is a function of the customer service department. Salespeople should be concentrating on selling and developing new business opportunities. There are many different opinions on where the sales function should be located in a corporate structure. Some organizations favor having sales work in tandem with the marketing function, while others prefer to keep sales as a standalone function. There are arguments for and against both options, but no matter how the organization is structured with regard to the marketing and sales functions, it is imperative that the groups maintain regular communication with each other. In fact, the sales department should establish close ties with nearly every section of an organization, including research and development, human resources, manufacturing, finance, and customer service. And each organization has its own unique sales system. But these systems are affected by several common forces, external forces, corporate strategy, and marketing and sales strategies. The first type of force is external forces, which range from issues concerning competition and customers to environmental factors. These forces can represent an opportunity or a threat, depending on the organization. For example, very cold weather is good for a company that sells thermal underwear, but not for a company that sells suntan lotion. The second force that can affect the sales system is the corporate strategy. The way a company organizes its business goals and objectives will directly affect sales. And the final force, marketing and sales strategies, identifies potential customers and dictates how the selling is to be carried out. Both the marketing and sales departments are responsible for deciding on market, segmentation, and product and service offerings. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, now would be a good time to ask them. Next step and next video lecture is about the roles of sales and marketing.